Hi Kevin, how's it going? This is Jorge with Larry Miller Dodge Ram in Peoria. Nice and sunny, it's about 78 degrees outside. Anyhow, I'm doing a little video here for you. I'm showing you the truck that you inquired about. I know it's a little bit hard to uh, look at a truck online sometimes, so I figured I'd do a little video for you, okay? So um, here we go. Here we're at the front of the truck, and you can see you have your projection headlight. It's a halogen headlight, and you have your LED blinker. These guys are nice and bright. And below here, you can see you also have fog lights in this one. It comes with the front and rear parking sensors. Being a heavy duty, you have your tow hook. Oh, from here, you can see you also have the Beelstein shocks in this one. Very nice. It's an off-road edition. So you get your heavy duty off-road shocks. And those are the blue ones. That tells me those are the Beelsteins. This one comes equipped with a nice um, Mopar flat sidestep. And the nice thing about having sidesteps if you need them, you know, is that you actually do have handles in every single corner of the truck. So you're able to get in it fairly easily. See here too, you have one more over there on that side, and of course, for the rear there. Here we are at the back of the truck. Again, you have the rear Bilsting shock. This has been a 2500 Ram truck. It does not have any uh, leaf springs. We don't use leaf springs except for the 3500 series. So what this truck actually has for a rear uh, suspension is uh, coils. You can kind of see them there. And uh, coil springs will give you a much nicer, smoother ride without being so choppy and jumpy. Back here, you can see the light in the third brake light that will help you illuminate the bed along with the other lights by the tailgate. See, you get one on each side. So in the middle, pitch black nowhere, you'll have some very great illumination. I keep it going down, and here's where you have your fifth wheel prep group. And that stuff's welded into the frame, so that's going to be the strongest bond that you'll find in the marketplace. On that side, you'll have your seven point connection, as well as connections on the exterior, your four point, and your server, seven point. Your tow hitch there, and your backup sensors. You have your tow mirrors. This function will be a power function. This one's manual, so you want to adjust that manually according to you know to your liking. And then what you do is just flip that up like that, and that's how that looks. So when you're towing your big trailer, nice wide view. To bring it right down, all you do is give it a nice nudge. There you go. Right back down. So as you know, this being a Laramie Longhorn, it has the keyless entry with the remote to start. And all you do is hang on to this in your pocket, press that, and that'll lock your door. And then you just put your hand on the handle there, and it locks it, pull the door. And this is the interior of the Longhorn uh, Laramie. You get the power seat, lumbar support, memory for two drivers. This one also includes the power pedal feature that allows the pedals to come closer, farther away from you. This being also the Longhorn, you have the nicest offered interior, full grain leather all the way throughout. And then this one also has pretty cool designs. It's Longhorn. We got a sunroof on this one as well. And in the very back right there, you can see this one has the Alpine surround sound system. So let's go to the back real quick. So as you can see up there, you have the uh, surround sound speakers. That includes also a subwoofer in the very back. So uh, yeah, this is a mega cab. So as you can see, you have a little bit more room than the regular crew cab. And you can also see that from outside here. So what you do um, in this uh, mega caps, a lot of people like them because by pulling this right here, the seat is able to come completely forward. So that give a little bit of help. Nice and smooth. And this becomes a nice flat surface all the way throughout. So a lot of my customers that buy the mega caps, they're uh, like truck drivers, so they have big giant pets that they like to uh, bring with them. And uh, yeah, so they lay down in the flat part of the seat. They don't have to ruin the leather, nothing like that. And uh, you still have a lot of space left over. You got some space here in the back as well. You got some hooks for your groceries. And then here you have a little bit more storage. Pull that up, you got some storage down there as well. 
This particular one has the uh, defroster in the rear sliding window. Here's the back of the console where you have two AC outlets, one on each side. You have heated seat controls for the rear and you have a socket so you can plug in any uh, power source. Saddlebags with a magnet. There you go, one on each side. So here we are at the other door. And to recline this seat, um, you really don't want to pull on that. That only brings it forward. So what you do, you pull on this particular lever right here. But the easiest way to do it is by you sitting in there and pu pushing the back of the seat with your body. So I'm going to do that here next. Okay, so here I am in the back seat now. <laughs> so all you do is just pull on that handle. Use the back of your body for force. And there you are. You have a lot of room to work in, recline, sit back and relax, have somebody drive you home. So now from this angle, you can see how much that backseat actually reclines. I'm not sure of the degree, but it's not 90 degree. Um, and from here, you could actually also see the actual wood grain that you have in the door panels. This is actual wood. If you want to carve your name in here, you can do that, but I, I don't suggest it. Then here you have your armrest with two cup holders. Now from here, you can see the seat that is actually reclined and the one that's not. And you can kind of see how much angle you have to lay back and relax. What I'll do next, I'll go ahead and drop both of the seats so you can see how much of a flat surface that you actually have. Okay, so for that, all you do, like I said, just go ahead and pull on this lever and you'll see the seat moves forward. All you gotta do is give it a little nudge, nice and flat. That's just one side, it's a 60-40 split. So that's your 60% of flatness. If you wanna carry, like I said, a big dog, a box, tools, whatever you want to do, even if you want to, you know, take a quick nap on the side of the road, definitely have the space for that. Down here is where your subwoofer is. It's kind of like the, uh, like the idea of Bose, where they use the enclosed space to give you better bass response. Pretty cool stuff. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring forward this seat. And as you can see, that'll be your flat space. It's pretty huge. I actually should measure that. I'm not too sure how big that is, but you can definitely put a couple of big dogs in there. <laughs> this will be your controls. Pretty straightforward. Lock, unlock, window lock, one touch down, one touch up, either way. You press that in the middle and it'll bring in your mirrors, left and right. Just in case you're in the garage and you don't want people to bump your mirrors or you're limited in space. Okay, so now we're inside the uh, cabin in front of the driver um, seat. This is a push start ignition. So all you do is put your foot on the brake and you press start. Everything lights up. This one, we need to put a little bit more diesel. So it's telling you that the doors are open, that you have low fuel. And that display can change by pressing these to whatever you want to know. It'll tell you your miles per hour, your speedometer, your tripodometer, what's going on with the vehicle, if it needs uh, air, if it has low fuel. It'll tell you your trailer brake control gains. You can control up to four trailers on this one. Trip A, trip B, your fuel economy, your instant and your current, anything under the hood, the battery voltage, the exhaust turbo information there, summary of all the gauges, engine hours, tire pressures, very important, transmission temperature, oil life, 100, it's a brand new truck. Anything you want to know, you just keep going up, you have miles per hour, you press this guy right here, and that becomes kilometers in case you need to go to California, I'm sorry, Canada or, uh, or Mexico. We move over to the 8.4 inch touchscreen display probably one of the best displays in the whole marketplace the very cool thing about this one is that you could hit press controls right there and you could access your backup camera in the bumper or the one in the brake light you don't have to have it in reverse to be able to do that so that's pretty cool okay, from here you can see you have your fifth wheel uh, prep room pretty awesome stuff X out of that AM FM satellite radio, you get that for one year. 
media you can connect your Bluetooth, your USB music, auxiliary cord music, climate control, pretty easy to use. You can touch the screen. Or you can just use the arrows. See? The direction of the air, max AC, the fan speeds you can control through here. Or you could also do it through the touch screen. U apps. Uh, so this system has applications just like a smartphone. And as they develop more applications, um, they'll send you emails letting you know what's out there if you want to download some of those things. And again, backup camera, phone, navigation. Very well equipped truck, that's for sure. They didn't miss a lot of things on this one. And here you have your cent uh, center console. Wood grain again, actual wood. Open that up. And you got a slot so you can stick in your phone. You could actually do two phones. You could dangle the cord through there and it'll charge in the socket right there. Little cup holders. You open this up. The top portion gives you a lot of room for storage, coins. Through here you can connect uh, USB devices and auxiliary cord. Close that up, open it from the bottom, and you have a nice box for uh, pretty much storing more junk, right? <laughs> the nice thing about the console, you can do a lot of things. You can put envelopes in there, glasses, you can leave them there, you can put them maybe up here. Through here you can control your garage or your rolling gates in the community. It's kind of hard to see. But you have one, two, three controls for that. And here's the control for the rear window. This will be your captain's view. And there's the Ram Laramie Longhorn 2500. Kevin, hope to see you soon. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.